just coming out my front door and showing you what I got going on straight up until the garden that I've recently gotten together as best as I can for now. So here we are guys, here's the welcome sign. The sign is still hanging strong. Know that I got a cat wind chime hanging right when you walk up the steps to the front door. This is my doorbell cover. I think it's super adorable and it goes along with the house. So guys, my garden here is a complete mess. Lots of dead stuff to get cleaned out. Lots of leaves. It's just a mess. The grass is another story. It definitely needs some love, but I don't know how to do that. So my focus is going to be the garden. So this is the edge of the house and the garden bed and then we redid this whole thing. It used to have a ton of azaleas and planted this stuff in place. The hose is out, cleaning some stuff up. And then um, we also added the stepping stones, redid the porch area. So you know, it's a work in progress. There's still a lot to get done. So here's my mulch. I got eight bags of mulch here. This is the Vigoro Black Mulch. Last year, if you saw my video, I used this stuff here. This is made of tire, and it's not bad. It actually did keep its color, and um, it did a great job, but I'm just not sure I like the texture of it, so I'm going with the wood this year. So the mulch is all down, and now we basically just have to wait for it to get to be a little bit warmer, another couple of weeks, and I could plant my flowers. So guys, I picked up all my flowers and I'm all ready for my garden. We're gonna start off with these guys here. I'm not even sure what they're called, so if you know what they are, let me know. This is my first time. I got these here. This is new for me. This is Hypost Hypostathes. I don't know, I'm probably saying it wrong. But that's what this one is. I got two dahlias. And then I got, then I got this purple reddish grass and this is right here, Red Star Dracaena Palm. I also got my favorite New Guinea Impatiens and I got them in two different varieties of pink. And every year I like to have a tomato plant. So I got grape tomatoes and I got some parsley because my bearded dragons do eat that and you can cook with it. And guys, you always want to use some sort of plant food before you put your flower into the hole. So you dig your hole, sprinkle a little plant food, any brand, I've used them all, they're all good. And this helps keep them fertilized. Supposedly, it says it's a weed preventer and it helps the plants and flowers grow taller. So I'm gonna get started. So up here, hanging off the porch, I put one little pot there. And of course, everything looks kind of puny because it's still got to grow. And here's my little Dollar Tree hangings. Down here, we got the grasses and the other flowers. I can't even remember their name right now. I'm so exhausted. These are those hyposties and some of my Dollar Tree little step stones, my chipmunk. That's my cat already I had. And I put all the New Guineas in a row across the garden There's here. There's my winter pansy still here. I forgot what these flowers are called. Those were given to me as a gift for Mother's Day by a friend. And here's the rest of my New Guineas. Now this tree got a little damaged in the winter, but it seems to be holding up. It's just a little sparse in the middle, but I think it will be all right. There goes my cat, Ollie, getting scared. And here is a look at the garden, guys. Unfortunately, I don't have in the ground sprinklers, so, so yeah. Here's my tomato and parsley. I didn't plant them, guys, but that's kind of boring, so I'm gonna plant them and put them in the back when this is done or tomorrow. I just wanna say, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget, hit that bell icon and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.